thank you so much for the opportunity to talk to you. I'm a like I'm a huge Marvel fan. I grew up with it, and I'm especially a huge horror fan. So this oh. project is just made for me. <laughs> uh, so I want to start out just asking you what was your, like your favorite part about the whole project, like everything, maybe a favorite scene or just a funny moment behind the scenes, anything. So there is. Um... A scene where all of the all of the hunters are lined up outside just before they walk into uh, the garden, and we shot that at night out in Atlanta, um, and that was just a favorite scene because it was real life, uh, creepy and spooky and scary in the sense that we were out there. It's the middle of the night in um, Atlanta, and you have you know fog rolling in, you have the lights, you have all these people in costume. They're marching into what we know is a very, very scary situation in the story. Um, but in real life, it was just, it gave me chills to be out there. Um, and then on top of that, in that scene, um, which you'll you'll either you remember if you see it, I, I don't know if you've seen the, the special yet, there is a course. person that plays a flaming tuba, and those flames are real. That's something oh. that um, were created that was not a digital effect. Um, and so as he's walking down, leading in this charge of, of hunters um, and there's flames spreading from the tube, but that is a real effect. And those were real fire on the day. So That's so cool. That's also like linking perfectly to another question I had, Great. because like I said, I'm a huge um, horror fan and there's always a huge debate about like practical effects and yes. CGI. And especially since you start with a lot of inspiration from like the thirties and forties where there was no CGI, how is it like the difference of working with practical effects and CGI and what do you prefer? Well, I mean, CGI is an amazing tool because it lets you do things that you can only imagine up here, right in your head. And um, so I love working with CGI just because it lets us sort of, you know, bend, bend the rules and put in things that are very, very difficult um, to do. It's, it's hard to make, you know, superheroes fly across the sky, for instance, in, in real life. Um, but for this project in particular, for Werewolf by Night, we wanted to use as many practical effects as possible. Um, and so we had a whole team that was dedicated to special effects. We had um, our, our VFX team working in, in concert with them to try and figure out, okay, where are the places where we can do this real and where we can, where can we do this, um, uh, you know, in, in with our artists and with imagination and, and things like that and the, and the magic of CGI. And I will say that for us, because as you mentioned, a big part of this was taking, uh, some inspiration from those early movies of the the 30s and 40s and so we try to do as much in the camera as possible whether that is using prosthetics or whether that's putting people in a suit or um good old-fashioned movie magic you know forced perspective with the camera or something like that um we really tried to do as much as we could and i love to see it, it was great i love seeing okay. practical effects back on screen so that was <laughs> amazing that's why i wanted to include it oh, of um, course. And because I'm a huge fan, just mm -hmm. like a regular question. So what are you most excited for the fans to see or maybe the non-fans? Because I read a lot of online discourse. I mean, the director, everybody knows his name. It's yes. like a horror Marvel thing. So everyone's heard about it. So what are you excited for everyone to see, basically? Um, so for everyone across the board, I think what's really exciting is um, just sort of the the... Marvel movies are known for their fun and their humor and their action and things like that. And this takes that and sort of uh, turns it a little bit to its side in that we specifically wanted to create a love letter to these monster movies from um, you know the 30s and 40s. And so we shot everything with that idea in mind. And so there's, you know, it's a little dark, there's a lot of shadows, there's a lot of um, uh, emphasis on, on the music and what you don't see maybe scaring you just as much as the things that you do see. And with that in mind, I'm just excited for people to see what feels like it's a little bit of a difference, a little bit of an homage to some of those movies that either we saw growing up or maybe people saw, you know, in film class or maybe they saw on a Saturday afternoon watching TV, you know, an old movie pops up. Um, and I hope that they they get that. And then specifically for fans who I'm sure are well versed in the Marvel movies and have seen all of the shows and all the movies and go to, you know, the opening night on the theater. Um, This one feels like it's a different corner of the universe. It's the same Marvel universe that we all know and love and has all our heroes, but it's sort of meant to be a, a tale or a story from someplace you haven't seen yet. You know, if you just peek back the curtain and look in the corner, it, it might have been dark down there when the Avengers are flying around. But if you look now, you start to see the story and these characters come to life. Oh, I loved it so much, especially the genre change. And that's mm -hmm. why I also had the question, 
how did you got the idea for changing up the genre? And is there also more coming, like maybe a romantic comedy or a crime thing? <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, I think with all our movies, we always try and pick something that gets us excited and pulls us in. Um, I don't want to speak too much to the future because I love a good surprise, much like this movie, a, a nice scare. But I will say our director, Michael Giacchino, um, had the idea to sort of use, he's a great composer, but use music and use the style and sort of bring a very specific um, horror genre forward of, of these classic monster movies. And, and he really spent a lot of time uh, doing some research and thinking about how we could shoot this, things, thinking about uh, different shots and different ideas to bring a character that's very much, you know, uh, they're, they're all the characters in this world are set in sort of that monster idea and to bring them out feels about the right time. That sounds great. That sounds really great. So it sounds like we can see some more monsters, maybe. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'd never say what will happen, but I would say that I'd love to see more. Uh, <laughs> I'd love are to fun. see more. Like, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. great. And then I also read you were involved in the new Ant-Man movie. And a lot yeah. of people from our team were at D23, so they saw the trailer and they loved right. it. And um, I also heard there's a lot of new actors, a lot of new characters. Mm -hmm. Is there anything like really exciting you can already tell us about the new Ant-Man? <laughs> Uh, I love I love uh, the new Ant-Man movie. We we spent a lot of time making it, and we're we're still putting the finishing touches on it right now. Um, and I think that's what's really exciting about this one is the past two have been very much uh, as a joke smaller, and they're you know Ant-Man shrinks, um, and they sort of stay within that that realm of of people on the ground figuring out what's going on in the normal lives of our heroes. And this one as I'm sure you've seen from what you saw at D23, is going to go in a new direction. It's it's going to feel like a big um, epic at points. It's going to have a little bit more of adventure. And the whole family, not just not just uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, are going to be pulled into this adventure that's a little bit beyond what they're used to dealing with. So I'm excited to share uh, how they how they deal with all those new challenges and adventures they go on together. Yeah, it looks great. I'm especially excited about Bill Murray in it. Great, a mm. lot, lot of great actors. I think, I think there's lots, there's lots that you will be surprised at when this comes out. You'll yeah, be like, oh, I didn't know about that. So. <laughs> I love also, I love the pictures on your wall. So, are you also you. a Disney fan? In yes. Oh. oh, yes. In general, I am a Disney fan. Yeah, I'm looking back, <laughs> trying to remember. We got Tangled and we got uh, Lion King um, back there. Uh, big Disney fan. I've always have been. Um, and was, you know, Disney, Marvel, it all sort of fits together. And I, I really enjoy everything about it. Um, That's great, true. great stories that have been told on screen and in the theme parks. I'm always impressed. It was super amazing talking to you. Um, you had great answers. It was so great listening to you. And I really, really look forward to all the projects you're going to be involved in. And I'm oh, really excited you. for the new Ant-Man and for people to see Werewolf by Night. Oh, thank absolutely. you so, so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>